to Kidney Filtration, a children's book by Zoe Kerr. Once upon a time, there lived a man. He is bold and short, and his name was Stan. One day for Stan was going quite bad. There were just so many things that were making him sad. It started with Stan being late for his work, and then he got fired by his mean boss, that jerk. Stan called his mother to set his mind at ease, but then she told him he might have kidney disease. To Stan, this news was quite a bother. He might have inherited the disease from his father. Stan wanted to know if he was truly sick, so he went to the doctor's, and he went there quick. The doctor was tall and handsome and nice. He looked very young, but he would suffice. The doctor said it was good Stan didn't wait. Today they would check his glomer ruler filtration rate. This test measured, the good doctor stated, how much waste the kidneys filtrated. If too much of the waste creatinine is present, then the possibility of kidney disease won't be pleasant. This news made Stan feel a little queasy, but the doctor assured him the test would be easy. They drew Stan's blood, which made him feel drab, and sent the blood to be tested at the lab. Stan waited for news at the nurse's station, and he asked a nurse about kidney filtration. I'm sure you're curious, the nice nurse told, and she gave Stan a brochure that he could hold. In order for the body to get rid of waste, the blood flows through the kidneys to filtrate. Filtration occurs in the renal corpuscle, where the blood moves in quite a hustle. The Mobin's capsule forms the outer wall, and inside are glomer ruler capillaries so small. The capillaries can also be called fenestrated, for they contain pores so blood can be filtrated. Capsular epithelium, made of endothelial cells, line the Bowman's capsule, which is really swell. Connecting to the capsular epithelium, making it whole, is the lining of the capillaries, epithelium, called visceral. Visceral epithelium consists of podocytes, which have feet called pedicles that hang on tight. They attach the visceral layer to the capillary, making filtration happy and merry. To start filtration, blood first must stroll into the renal corpuscle through an afferent arteriole. It then travels into the glomerular capillaries, where the blood will filtrate all things nasty and scary. Blood is filtered in the capillaries by filtration slits, where water and small waste molecules they do omit. Mesangial cells in the capillaries are important, though, for they contract and control the rate of blood flow. And the primary way the blood is filtrated is through hydrostatic pressure making blood elated. Through this pressure, water and solutes are pushed out, leaving the clean blood cells inside to party and shout. The solution pushed out of the capillaries is indeed great. It is waste termed as a protein-free filtrate. And because of the proteins that are suspended in globs, colloid osmotic pressure performs its job. It pushes water and solutes out of the filtrate, and increases the fluid loss when you urinate. The average force out of the capillaries we can measure through a little way known as the net filtration pressure. Once filtration is complete, the blood then leaves by an efferent arterial, which then a vein receives. After this process, the body is in clean restoration, all thanks to the kidneys and their blood filtration. When Stan finished reading, he felt more at ease. He now understood the importance of his kidneys. Just as he gave the brochure back to the nurse, the doctor came back looking quite terse. Stan looked at the doctor, looking worried and scared, but to his relief, it was good news the doctor shared. Good news, said the doctor, with a smile so bright. Your test shows your kidneys are doing all right. Stan was so relieved he sank to his knees. He was so thankful he didn't have this disease. He went back to his house, happy and glad. 
Today turned out not to be quite so bad. And, all, and though he didn't have a father or his job at the station, Sen was healthy and knew the importance of kidney filtration.